Okay, in this video we are going to show how to troubleshoot a main board. In the other video you saw us testing the SMPS and we found that that is good so we're going to move on to the main board. Uh, you're going to start by turning off your power, letting it set for 15 minutes and make sure everything's discharged. Um, I've already done that for videoing purposes. Um, the first thing when you test this, you're going to check if you look right above this blue plug where the power comes in, there is a built-in fuse. Um, if your unit isn't turning on and your SMPS is good, you're going to have to take these screws out and remove the board and check the solder points on the back of that fuse to make sure that it's closed. Um, we know this one is closed, so we're going to go ahead and get into testing. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is remove our fan motor plug, which is here. Uh, on most of our units, it's a white plug with a red wire space, black, white, yellow, blue. So let's remove that here. Sometimes those things stick. There we go. Uh, there's a little tab on here you need to watch out for. That's what you're going to squeeze to release the fan motor plug from the board. So now we have the fan motor unplugged. Uh, we're looking at your pins here. If you look at the way this plug plugs in, we're going to be measuring DC volts from the pin that the red wire plugs into to the pin that the black wire plugs into. And if you consider pin one the red wire pin, so it will be going with pin one and three. So let's go ahead and get the power turned back on and make sure you're using your proper protective gear. Okay, so measuring the voltage, uh, just so you don't get negative numbers on your meter, make sure that you put the black lead where the black wire would plug into and the red lead where the red wire would plug into. And we're going to be measuring DC volts. Um, we're going to be looking for line voltage times 1.43. Uh, it should be somewhere around 300 to 340 volts DC. So we're going to make that measurement now. If you look down at the meter, we got 306, which is a good DC link reading. Okay, on the next one, we're going to be measuring the pin that the black wire plugs into to the pin that the white wire plugs into. We're going to make that reading now um, from pin number three to pin number four. Uh, the correct voltage you should be reading there is about 15 volts DC, uh, plus or minus two volts. If you look down at the meter, we're getting 14.9899. A little fluctuations, nothing to worry about. Uh, it could vary from meter to meter. Seeing that we got 306 volts on the DC link voltage, which was pin number one to pin number three. And our control voltage from pin number three to pin number four being 14.96 volts. Uh, this main board seems to be okay. If all the measurements are correct on your main board, and you're still having issues, I refer to your service manual for further troubleshooting. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.